Mommy and Daddy don't smoke because I don't like it. Parents, listen to your children. Don't smoke. Mommy and Daddy don't smoke because it's not good to. Parents, listen to your children. Don't smoke. You know, if people smoked like this, they'd only be hurting themselves, and we wouldn't have to worry about being around people who smoke in homes, restaurants, or at work. But people smoke like this, and it can hurt those around them, because the Surgeon General now says that passive smoke causes lung cancer and other diseases. Passive smoke isn't just annoying. It can kill you. This is my niece, Mary Devon. She's 11 years old. I asked her to help me warn people that smoking's bad for them. And she said she hates smoking so much, she didn't even want to talk about it. So I said, fine, she could just sit here and not talk about it if she wanted to. But Mary Devon, honey, now that you're here with a chance to influence millions of people, isn't there anything you want to tell the cigarette smokers of America? Don't. <laughs> That's my niece. She'll talk your ear off if you let her. Ladies and gentlemen, the late Yul Brynner. I really wanted to make a commercial when I discovered that I was that sick and my time was so limited. I wanted to make that commercial that says simply, now that I'm gone, I tell you, don't smoke. Whatever you do, just don't smoke. If I could take back that smoking, we wouldn't be talking about any cancer. I'm convinced of that. I'm so proud of my son. He's had two major accomplishments in his life. The first was about 20 years ago. I'll never forget it. He quit smoking cigarettes. Then a few years ago, he became chairman of the Great American Smokeout, which has helped millions of people quit smoking. Well, thank you, Mama, but uh, what about some of the other stuff I've done? Oh, what other stuff? <laughs> you want to make your mama really proud? <laughs> quit smoking. <laughs> Would you give a cigarette to your unborn child? You do, every time you smoke while you're pregnant. Pregnant mothers, please, don't smoke. Do you know what would happen if you stopped smoking cigarettes right now, right this minute? Well, I'll tell you what would happen. Your lungs would immediately start to repair themselves. Even if you've been smoking for years and years, once you stop assaulting your lungs, it's only a matter of time before they're healthy and in the pink again. Now you have every reason in the world to stop smoking cigarettes, because now you know what'll happen if you do. And what'll happen if you don't. A long time ago, my daddy told me to stay away from three things. Fast cars, sweet-talking men, and cigarettes. I said, honey, I quit smoking when I found out it was dangerous. And even then, it was tough to quit. So I said, be smart. Don't start. Well, my daddy convinced me I stayed away from cigarettes. 
Yeah, what about those fast cars and sweet-talking men? <laughs> what about them? Does your best friend smoke cigarettes? Well, why not try to help him quit? Because you and I both know that good friends are hard to find and even tougher to lose. My daddy told me to stay away from fast cars, sweet-talking men, and cigarettes. She stayed away from cigarettes? Well, one out of three ain't bad. <laughs> Girl, where you going with that dragon breath? When you walk in a room, no, oh, they can't stand the fumes. Ooh, you dragon lady. Tell me, baby, tell me, tell me baby. why you smoke that trash? Why, girl? Everybody's saying, Woof. you ain't got no class. Can't, can't you see what you are? are? You're a drag. Yes, yes, you are. are. Message for you and me from the American Cancer Society. Don't be a dragon lady. You know, I can't understand why some girls think cigarette smoking is sexy. Uh, looking at a girl through a cloud of smoke is just not my idea of a good time. And the smell, <laughs> it gets in her hair, it gets in her clothes. Have you ever kissed a girl who just finished smoking a cigarette? Woof. Trust me, cigarette smoking is not sexy. So don't be a dragon lady. Hey, John, how about a cigarette? Woof. A message from the American Cancer Society. Now, I want you to snap out of it, you hear? Hey, if you got the cigarette habit, I got something to help you snap out of it. Just ask your American Cancer Society for a Larry Hagman special stop smoking wrist snapping red rubber band. You wear it on your wrist, and whenever you want a cigarette, instead of striking up a match, just strike up the band. Ow. Well, you do that often enough, and you could kick the habit. And then when your friends ask you how you did it, you can say, it was a snap. Whenever you feel like smoking a cigarette, Instead of striking up a match, just strike up the band. The Larry Hagman special stop smoking wrist snapping red rubber band. Come one step closer and I'll blow you away with my fan. <laughs> this is how I deal with cigarette smoke because I just don't like being around it. Now, I'm not talking to you from a high horse. I used to smoke and if I stopped, well, there's no reason you can't. Now, you can keep putting it off, or you can make up your mind to quit once and for all. You feel a whole lot better when you do. And I tell you what, you give up your cigarettes, I give up my fan. The American Cancer Society has asked me to talk to you about cigarettes. Now, I figure if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Morning, Yogi. How you feeling? Morning, Boo Boo. Great, just great. Went to bed early, took a swim, climbed a tree, swept your lair, and, and breathed clean air. air. You had breakfast? Great, just great. Ate just about everything on my plate. Berries, nuts, honey, honey fish. fish. Took a little run. Over to the camp? To see what people are up to. Like what, Boo Boo? Smoking cigarettes. Breathing smoke? Yuck. Well, we sure won't. Smoking's really bad for you. That's, That's why people need doctors, doctors and bears, bears don't. I used to smoke cigarettes, and when it began to interfere with my breathing and my singing, I quit. Now I can do more, I want to do more. It bothers me to see people smoke, especially young people. Quitting smoking is something all of us can do for ourselves and for the people around us. How would you like 
strike hundreds, perhaps thousands of dollars in cash or a new wardrobe, record albums, a television, cosmetics, sports equipment, or thousands of exciting items and services. There's nothing to buy, nothing to sell. All you have to do to be a winner is be a quitter. If you smoke a pack of cigarettes a day, you spend about $200 a year, about $1,000 in five years. When there's so much you can do with your money, why smoke? Quitters can be winners. I'm going to do it. Diane, you really are? Uh-huh. I think oh, I am. No, I really think you can do it. You don't judge anything you don't. No, do you I really think, think you can do it? I think I can, Karen. I, I'm good at it. Diane, I, I think you're know, really I'm serious. Really. Oh, oh. Listen, why don't we all do it together? Because uh, even if you guys don't do it, I'm going to do it by myself, so come on. Anybody okay, no deal. On October 18th, these girls made a pact to quit smoking cigarettes and win healthier, happier lives. Why don't you make a pact and be a winner, too? <laughs> My husband used to smoke a lot, but he did quit. He didn't quit to save money. He didn't quit because of alarming statistics. He quit for me and our three children. But he quit too late. He died, and he was only 30. You can let your hair down without the help of a cigarette. There are some who don't hold a cigarette smoke. Give it up, because smoking stinks. If you're a cigarette smoker, you probably smell like one. And that could change the way people think of you. Give it up, because smoking stinks. The smell of cigarette smoke stays with you long after you put your cigarette out. Give it up, because smoking stinks. <laughs> Some people never realize that cigarette smoking has a certain air about it, even after you put one out. Because smoking often makes you smell less than perfect. And like any body odor, no one would ever dream of telling you. To a non-smoker, it's especially offensive, which is a shame. So give it up. Quit smoking today, because your smoking stinks. A winning appearance can really make you popular. But if you smoke, the smell sticks with you, and sometimes people won't, because smoking stinks. Smoking might make you attractive to men in uniform. Smoking stinks. You know, the tide has turned against smoking, and one big reason is the smell it leaves on you, because smoking stinks. When I was 16, I thought it was grown up to smoke. Well, now I am grown up. And you know something? A couple years ago, I quit, and I love it. I sing, and I dance, and I play tennis, and I feel better. I'm like most people now. I don't smoke. And here's something every young girl should know. Most people do not smoke, and don't let anybody tell you different. And don't let anybody tell you that smoking is grown up. Lola doesn't smoke anymore, and believe me, she's grown up. They tell you it's hard to quit smoking, so why try? Don't believe it. Lola smoked, Lola quit. You can too. They're pushing you to smoke and you don't want to. So what do you do? You tell them, Lola doesn't want me to. Then don't. There's always been an emergency number you could call to put out fires. Now there's an emergency number you can call to put out cigarettes. Just dial the American Cancer Society and they'll send you a free booklet on how to stop smoking. Now you can hang up the phone and hang up the habit. I don't smoke. My wife don't smoke. I have three children. They don't smoke. I had a dog. He smoked. He's dead. Hello, darlings. I'm Eva Gabor. You know, some cookie girls will never learn. 
they keep smoking and smoking and lose all their fellows. They get wrinkles, they ruin their skin, and they cough and become very unattractive. So why don't you join me in the I Quit Smoking program? I quit smoking, why can't you? Life is so beautiful, why cut it shorter? smoking cigarettes. If one of your ways doesn't work, write the American Cancer Society and we'll send you some of ours. We don't care how you quit, as long as you do. <laughs> little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Not by the hairs of my chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <laughs> Save your breath. Don't smoke cigarettes. I'm Tony Randall, the one-man anti-smoking crusade who recently joined the American Cancer Society's IQ campaign. IQ for I Quit. I quit cold turkey years ago, and nice things happened. Mainly, I started feeling great. Ever since, I can't stand smokers forcing me to inhale their cigarettes. When I see someone take out a cigarette, I offer them a light, and I hand them this booklet. The IQ button and booklet can be yours. They're not worth much, but earning them is priceless. Nice things start when you stop smoking. <laughs> different? Sure we're different. We may look alike to you. But we're different. We don't wear buttons unless they mean something to us. They have a message, our message. The jewelry, the clothes, the things we buy. It all means something about us, that we're different. We look it, we act it. Cigarette smoking, it's part of their generation, not ours. We like being different. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? 
I do. Repeat after me. I, Richard. I, Richard. Take thee, Nancy. Take thee, Nancy. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death. You haven't seen the sun in a month. Hmm. You ought to get out more. What do you mean, go out? Well, you'd feel better if you got out in the great outdoors. You know, stretch your muscles. Mm. Get your lungs full of fresh air. What fresh air? Well, you call this air around here fresh air? Well, it's like living in a coal mine. It's so polluted around here. You know what you see on your windowsill every morning? Soot. This thing. And in traffic, in your car, carbon monoxide. Every day, it's killing you. You want me to get more fresh air, then you start doing something about the air pollution in this town. Tear down the smokestacks. Get rid of that big incinerator out in the flats. If you want to do something about air pollution, we suggest you start with your own lungs. Sit with plans of houses that I have clipped from magazines. That's right, I'm a secret clipper, Stu. Because 20 years from now, when the kids are out of college and we're not locked into the city, it's gonna be our turn, Jane's and mine. And we're not gonna be in the city. We're... I'm gonna build a house myself, with my own two hands. And she's gonna have land. We're gonna have a garden. and I'm gonna have a shop where I can build things, furniture. You know, not just a workbench, a shop. And that's just the beginning. We're going to do a lot of things that we can't do now. We're going to travel. I'm going to paint. I'm going to be able to spend time with the kids and the grandchildren. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a great life. It's nice to dream. Why let your dreams go up in smoke? Look, Boo Boo, a smoldering cigarette butt. Our good friend Smokey the Bear will be glad I stamped this one out. Ouch! 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 O-U-C-H! Ouch! Why do people smoke, Yogi? According to statistics, uh, they'd be better off if they didn't. Why don't they quit then, Yogi? It's not easy to quit smoking, Boob. Most of today's smokers started as teenagers, before the dangers of cigarette smoking were known. The kids thought smoking made them look grown up. And now they can't quit, eh, Yogi? They can quit, but it isn't easy. Like that man over there. He'd like to quit. He doesn't enjoy smoking, but he's hooked on the cigarette habit. Does anyone ever quit, Yogi? It takes willpower. A lot of people have quit, but the best way is not to ever start smoking. Then you won't end up like that man, smoking cigarette after cigarette and coughing his fool head off. <coughs> I'm awarding them an IQ button. That's IQ for I Quit Cigarettes. Smart, huh? Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, excuse me. Congratulations. Wear it in the best helmet. Congratulations. Thank you. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Uh, I quit. Uh, cigarettes, that is.
Tony Curtis congratulating people who've quit smoking. Congratulations. I quit. Cigarettes, that is. Hi, I'm Leslie Curtis, Tony Curtis's wife. May I talk to just you husbands for a moment? Let me tell you about a wonderful gift you can give your wife. If you're smoking cigarettes now, quit. You could be giving her and your children and yourself a longer life together. Tony quit, and I'll always be grateful. The best tip yet, don't smoke a cigarette. Smoke now, pay later. Have you tried one? Don't. What does a cigarette have to do to you before you get our message? One hundred thousand doctors have quit smoking cigarettes. You can too. This is the house we live in. That's Billy. He's pretty handy to have around. Steve, home from college. Barbie, looking after her brother, Timmy. Debbie, who will soon graduate from high school. Susan, our youngest. And my wife, Peggy, who looks after all of us. And that's me, Bill Tolman, with a friend of mine you might recognize. You know, I didn't really mind losing those courtroom battles, but I'm in a battle right now I don't want to lose at all. Because if I lose it, it means losing my wife and those kids you just met. I've got lung cancer. So take some advice about smoking and losing from someone who's been doing both for years. If you don't smoke, don't start. If you do smoke, quit. Don't be a loser.
scream, shout, cheer, snooze, snore, yell, munch, crunch, push, shove, slurp, burp, litter, sing, chat, hum, clap, choke, but don't smoke. moment you stop. In most cases, the effects of smoking will begin to reverse themselves until your lungs are nice and clear again. Have you ever thought of what happens when you smoke a cigarette? We have. receive many warnings in our life and sometimes they can save our life. This message is brought to you by the American Cancer Society. <laughs> That's a nice hat. Did mommy look like that? Children love to imitate their parents. Children learn by imitating their parents. Do you smoke cigarettes? <laughs> 